Now, another thing I keep pointing out to them is they're creating a timeline, right? For me, right? Well, that means is, um, when I do something, I get a receipt, right? Right, right. Mm-hmm. Like, today, me and Sarah did finally make it to the mall there, right? And she came by around, a little bit around 12. Mm-hmm. Okay, now by... Twelve fifty five I'm at the mall eating my lunch. Right. I had cereal around nine, right? And we're just sitting here waiting, right? Mm hmm Now I picked her up from here, brought her to Belt, right? That's about a twenty, thirty minute drive, right? After I dropped her off I went to the food court to get me lunch, right? I ordered the two um, sides with the meat from the Cajun thing, cafe, right? Um, I got, the again, the bourbon chicken, rice, and corn, right? I got that for under eight fifty, dollars right? <laughs> right, right. Now, the other places were sky high still, right? <laughs> like, for a chicken finger... <laughs> Meal it was over almost nine dollars, right? <laughs> so, so I just skipped all that, right? Now, Chick fil A ain't open on Sunday, like Sunday is the day of rest when it's Saturday, by the way, or actually Friday evening to Saturday evening, <sighs> which is how they worship it now for some reason, right? <laughs> now, I thought the evening and morning were the first day, by the way, Jews, right? <laughs> Uh, morning to morning, right, is how Moses recorded the first six days. Why are you going evening to evening? If you're such a follower of Moses, he went morning to morning. I don't know what he said. <laughs> Why are you going evening to morning now? Mm -hmm. Or is there a contradiction in your own scriptures and in your own Torah? Mm -hmm. See, if your law contradicts another law, it's really anarchy. If you don't know when the day really begins or ends, right? <laughs> evening or morning, right? <laughs> don't you think that's a little awkward <laughs> when you're going evening to evening and usually it's morning to morning, right? Why are you reversing it 12 hours <laughs> and starting it then? That's still a half day late, right? You're still really um, actually breaking the Sabbath 50-50, right? If it's Saturday, it's all day morning to morning, by the way. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I read, though, right, mm -hmm. when you gathered the manna, right, mm -hmm. you gathered it at evening, right, so that by morning, right, you wouldn't have to gather it. Now, you still had to make it into something, by the way. Mm. To eat it, which is still the work. God did at least allow you to eat on the Sabbath day, huh? But she expected you to fast. <laughs> did he? No. No. So what is Moses showing you by these two variants of the law? Mm. Well, one, actually you can break the Sabbath day. <laughs> two, are you going to be tyrannical about it and murder someone? Say they're just picking up sticks and think you got to go to the Lord to decide the matter. Mm -hmm. All the man's doing is picking up a few sticks around the house, right? He can't tidy up a little? <laughs> well, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm disabled. That's why my house is kind of a mess, kind of, you know, 50 50. <laughs> I got a reason. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my house clean and I need a help. I'm a, I need a wife or a girlfriend. Right? So I'm kind of looking for one, right? <laughs> now, okay. After that, I again, right, 
had to go over there and wait for Sarah. Mm -hmm. And I give her to for about an hour to do whatever she needs to do in the mall itself, right? And then I start looking for her. Right? <laughs> Why is that? Again, again, right? I'm responsible for getting her home, right? I don't know. And I guess she would be in the toy section or something, right? Because she's got grandkids and nieces and all that, right? I don't know. I don't know. And again, <laughs> I would just, again, treat her like she's a customer if I was to drive her somewhere and she asked me to wait for her so long and again, right, make sure I'm getting her home, right? Now, then she wanted to go downstairs and buy some shoes or something, right? I'm still not judging her or saying anything about it, but whatever, right? But when we get down there, I'm already sore from having to, you know, wait on her and all that, and sit around the car, in the car, right? And, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm out unusually, right? <laughs> all right, right. <laughs> so anyway... Mm -hmm. Um, I bought the food by 12.55, right? Now, we also went to Home Depot. Mm-hmm. Right. Dub. And guess what time we got there? 3.21. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's still a long time. I don't know. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if I wait till 2, right, go check on her, right, and I'm still in the belt sitting there waiting for her, right, um, again, right, <laughs> and then we go somewhere else, like Home Depot. Mm -hmm. And we get there at 321. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you think that's a long time? <laughs> From the mall on the Sunday. Right. The Oglethorpe Mall. To get from there to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. And all I'm doing is sitting there waiting for her. Now, there's a bunch of beautiful women walking by while I'm doing that, right? But I just try to behave myself, right? <laughs> so, again, right, I'm just sitting there, right, trying to mind my own business. I know you are. But the problem is, are you? Are you? <laughs> So you can't treat me like I can't look at anybody around me, right? <laughs> when that's all I'm doing, right? Mm, right, man. Now, I make sure, though, like I told you, whatever's going on, I know. I'm with someone I can be with or not. They're of legal age or not, right? I ask certain questions, right? And again, right. We're seeing when I got to Home Depot mm -hmm. from the mall, taking 16 directly to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. That again ain't even a 15, 20 minute drive, right? It looks like again, you know, when I went to wait on Sarah again, she kept me another hour <laughs> in the damn mall. <laughs> Problem is, I don't remember the whole time. Right. I'm sitting there waiting for her. Mm -hmm. I just remember sitting there, right, trying to wait for her. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm doing that, right, a dude ain't gonna tempt me. But any of the women, if they look good enough, couldn't, right? And a few of them did. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Now, mm -hmm. <laughs> here's the point about 
healing light, the Wolverine, the black and me out, or all that, right? I'm giving God and Jesus permission to do that if you're messing with me about my dating life. I know. Because see, contrary to popular belief, the law of Moses is the law Jesus is talking about. Mm -hmm. Not the New Testament idea of marriage, which is based off of the Jews of that day and time making the people wait until they're legally married before they can have sex. That sounds a lot like what uh, King Richard did with Braveheart. Right? <laughs> now, if I engage you to somebody, and you got a whole year, you got to wait before you can marry them. <laughs> like with Mary, any male could try to mess with you for right? during that engagement period, and it's all you to say that. Mm -hmm. Now, the only way <laughs> you might confuse her mm -hmm. is if the person she's with is a, a man. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> now, after she was told by the angel Gabriel, which was still in Nazareth, by the way, <laughs> Right? right. <laughs> she was pregnant. <laughs> Gonna have a baby. <laughs> a boy. A boy. A son. <laughs> and she would call his name Yeshua. <laughs> which is a lesson form of Yahushua. Some say Yahoshua. <laughs> Whichever. <laughs> Though Eliyahu is Elijah's name. That means my God, Yahoo. <laughs> I like Yahoo better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do you. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the feminine name is Sarah. Mm -hmm. S R H, right? Well, Y H W H is the same thing, right? Yahoo, Yahoo. <laughs> hmm. How did I figure all that out? By studying into the name of Elijah Moses. See, in the Hebrew, it's Moshe. <laughs> Like, no, ah, <laughs> two men, right, who are kind of a patriarch of a religious system of their day and time, right? One is kind of feminine and, uh, and masculine. And, uh, <laughs> one has to do with drawing a basket out the river, right? <laughs> I guess, right? So, um, Sarah is just Prince, her, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be he, sorry, he, <laughs> which is simply she. <laughs> <There he. laughs> now, another way L is said is L U A, <laughs> right? With the W and the H, and, uh, or the V, which would be Va in her, in her. <laughs> So that would be two A's back to back, which is kind of weird with the Hebrew vowel points, right? Right. <laughs> but it could be who he. <laughs> H U H I. <laughs> right. With no Y. With no Y. Would that still be feminine? Right. You know your mom and dad, right? Sarah, who he. <laughs> Or Sarah, he kind of. What would that mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sarah, he, Sarah, he, right. Now, she's not Sarah, who. She's not Sarah, who. That's still masculine, right? But she is either Sarah or Sarah, he, right? But no, why? But no, why? <laughs> Sar who? Sar ho might work if you mean glorious, right? She's the glory of God and he's the image of God. <laughs> and both from one body. Adam was made as both, right? And then made two, right? Taking parts of him to make her, right? See, if you don't see that as literal, how else can you take it? I'm taking parts of him to make her. Mm hmm. And he says she is born of my bone and flesh of my flesh, right? That means he saw a difference in his form 
as well as <laughs> hers when she was fully made. Right. From him, from him, right. In the original image of God. Right. It was a spirit, by the way. Spirit is either Jude or Gentile, bond or female or female. Right. Because it's all of it. All of it. <laughs> in one, in one. Now, we became Jews, we became Gentiles because of the sin and Eden. Right. And separated ourselves and our religious practices. The most of them are still similar, but most of them focus on the male image of God versus the female. Mm -hmm. Though some that include the female don't go full androgynous or full hermaphroditic, right? <laughs> or intersex. Even Lord Shiva and Parvati, <laughs> or Parvati, right? Which is the male and female form where you see half the breast of Pravate and half the male of Shiva. I don't know. As one. As one. <laughs> but that's kind of weird with the genital area. What is it? Half a penis and then half a vagina? Well, kind of. Kind of. If you're talking about the egg joining with the sperm. Yeah. Yeah. That's an image of God too. Right. The male and female are still becoming one flesh. I don't know. And you can also produce a hermaphrodite through sex, right? Well, that means, again, in Eden, we were pure, right? Whether we had a child through joining back the bodies or not, don't really matter if the whole planet was a perfect biosphere, right? See, if you got a perfect biosphere in the disease of anal sex with three people, planet, <laughs> right? caused all this destruction in less than, say, a thousand years, right? And then you have the flood and then all that. Right, right. <laughs> Afterwards, right. this is quicker um, uh, faster decaying, right? Maybe. And, um, <laughs> every time. Every time. <laughs> See, replenishing the earth also means it keeps being destroyed after so many of thousands of years. I would gather at least 6,000, maybe, or 24 times, 1,000 times 6, plus 12. Plus 12. That day is shortened. This day is shortened <laughs> to half the time. Half the time. <laughs> Well, how many hours do we have in a day? 24? Right. Well, all we know is Adam died in the day he sinned. Right. right. And he lived at least, according to Moses, a thousand years. Right. Because he died 930 years later, he sinned in the seventh day. Does that mean if you subtract that by 70, he sinned in the seventh year of the seventh day? Yes. Yes. And what does that also mean, right? From then, time went forward, too, right? <laughs> From the last replay machine, right? So we're talking about 24,000 times six. How many? That's almost close to a quarter of a hundred thousand years, right? Right. 125. We'll round it up to that. It don't matter, right? Whatever, right? <laughs> Or 130, right? Oh, I'm sorry, that's right. 130 will rise up to 130, right? And <laughs> Okay, so 130,000 from that replenishing, right? Plus the 12,000 years is 142,000. Sound familiar to you? Right. 144,000 angels, right? That fell. <laughs> They have to be replaced by celibate men. <laughs> or he's John, anyway. I don't know. Well, he's kind of telling the truth, and he's kind of still lying, right? See, if I'm telling you a half-truth, where is the half-truth? I know. Is it wrong to take medications if I say do not take medications? Or am I trying to get you to take the medications because I'm telling you don't take the medications? Usually people... Do the opposite of what you tell them not to do. <laughs> I don't know there either. I don't know there either. <laughs> what it means, what it means. 
But again, he's telling you to take the mark of the beast. You will take the mark of the beast. Oh, no. So again, is that a different form of reverse psychology to get you to try and not take the mark of the beast? Probably. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what he's really saying? <laughs> His problem ain't him, but the Jews. Who think they're the religious replacement of Moses? <laughs> Same with the, 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 the Arabic people. Mm -hmm. Especially since Muhammad came along, right? And tried to make some sense out of nonsense, right? So you can't make sense out of nonsense if you replace it with more nonsense, right? <laughs> That's the problem, too. I'm trying to listen to the Quran on tape, right? Or audio, right? <laughs> Because I have problems reading it, kind of. <laughs> I'm not following along as well, so I'm trying to use an audio version, right? For now to get familiar with it, right? Now, you still got to give me time, Muslims, if I'm trying to figure out what all is going on. But what if you're lying, too, right? Your prophet did say we would not make it to the moon, right? He was wrong. <laughs> that makes him a false prophet, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> and one false prophecy... Undoes everything you said. Right? If we made it to the moon, right? But see, microwave ovens work on the same radiation principle as that of space. You do know the ozone layer is only three layers of oxygen, right? Right. If you have a capsule filled with oxygen, right, and you go into outer space, see, it's the oxygen, not the steel thing, right? That is what's keeping the radiation out, by the way. <laughs> uh oh, didn't think about it that way, I'm late. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. Well, we don't know, right? <laughs> and see, NASA knows that whatever happened, right? Whatever's going on, but right now, people don't want to believe we even made it to the moon, right? So, what you gonna do, right? See, people can sabotage you one way or the other, right? And you saw how the shuttle blew up a couple of times, right? That's probably sabotage. That's probably sabotage, right? If people keep sabotaging you, I know, about going into space because it disproves their religion, like Muslim or Muhammad, right? You need to chill out about going into space because they're having a problem with it that you did, right? So you send them, you know, you're messing with them, right? You bring back wood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't really have to prove it to them, but what goes up must come down. Right, right. Spinning wheel goes round and round. round, round. <laughs> now, $130,000 years, though, is enough for everyone to get their whole life, right? <laughs> Even if we're all replenished, right? And are part of the replenishing as well. Now, the replenishing is not complete until the end of day six. That's at least 130,000 years, right? Minus what? Mm -hmm. 6,000? <laughs> Which means what? 124. Right. <laughs> About 24, <something>. right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I do. Because <laughs> that's, again, five or six times 24, right? Bumping it up to 25, right? right. And again, maybe 118,000 still, right? Whatever, whatever. You might have to take two days off or one day off or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. One is back 6,000 years, right? 24 to 25, right? That's one day. One hour. One hour. <laughs> but they say you can't know the what day and hour of his return? Exact day and hour of his return. They don't say you can't guess rationally like Isaac Newton did. And guess what? Guess what? I still got time. I got the 2060, right? <laughs> according to him, according to him, man. I know. I'm only, uh, 
We're not even uh, 40 years out from that. Right. <laughs> I'm still just 52. Right. <laughs> there we go. I'll only be 90 then. <laughs> 92. 92. <laughs> or well, 90. Right. I'm, I'm toggling between 69 and 70. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, Moses lived to 120. Right. If I'm in the spirit of Moses and Elijah, right, and one died mysteriously, yet someone finished his book, <laughs> or did he write his own death and died after he wrote his own death, right? And then we hear Michael of contending for the body of Satan, of Moses against Satan, right? Something going on there, right? And then again, right, we hear Elijah's taken up in the whirlwind or a tornado, technically, right? We didn't, they didn't have the word tornado back then. <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Along with uh, Elisha, who sees a fiery chariot as he's going up. Right. Mm -hmm. And besides Enoch, right, who was taken, I know, for he walked with God, right? These are the only men in history, I know, to have a strange death, right? Including Jesus' death, right? Where again, you know, he's appearing to the disciples, but also disappearing in front of them, right? Which is kind of strange, right? Because what's strange about it, Peter... <laughs> Is uh up until the end of the forty days, right? About five hundred people saw him one way or the other, right? Or did five hundred men try and get his body out the tomb the night his body turned up missing? Right. Mm -hmm. And again, who whatever watch they had. Say it was 50 to 100 men, right? They take it in what's called hours, and the watch hours, right? And from sundown to sun up, right? So many men actually keep guard, right? Now, if you got a bunch of men, though, I don't know, say more than 12, I don't know. And they rolled the stone in place, right? They are angels, they say, <laughs> that rolled the stone back. Right. <laughs> well, again, you're either an angel or a demon, right? If you're a man, right? It all depends on whose side you're really playing for. Though they talk of one angel descending in from back in the from heaven into Jesus' body, which could mean his spirit returning to the body, and that was enough to bust the tomb open, right? despite the seal. Mm -hmm. Though the zeal of the Lord, right? Okay, has eaten me up, mm -hmm. and that's what Jesus and John quoted when he cast people out in the temple. Mm -hmm. I think Matthew, Mark, and Luke mentioned it too, right? Well, a lot of things weren't adding up, right, to them, right? One, the Messiah was supposed to be a military leader like David as well. Not just sleep with 17 women <laughs> and be married, right? Maybe commit a little bit of adultery on the side. <laughs> Which could be the problem they also had with Jesus, because that's another way you would have to be like David. <laughs> if you have uh, 17 women, seven outside of Jerusalem, and 10 virgins in Jerusalem, and he don't mention the 10 virgins, dumbass, till the last time he's in Jerusalem. Right? But he went there. Any time there was a feast in Jerusalem, he was there. Mm -hmm. 
Remember, um, Sabaoth or, or, or Tabernacles, right? He was also there during Hanukkah. <laughs> and he was also there Passover at least three times, right? From mm -hmm, after he was baptized about 29 <laughs> by John, right? Probably during atonement, right? See, when he's baptizing, he's talking about removing your sins. Atonement is what that means, right? That's usually in September, that, right? Or August, September, right? Depending on when the month would start during that calendar year. Mm -hmm. Now, they can also be a little off until every three years where they add another month, right? To make up the difference between the solar and the lunar calendar. And sometimes you might have to do it twice a year every seven years or so often, right? Too, right? To make sure they're all on the same calendar, too, right? There's ways they work that out, though. <laughs> so that we are all on the same calendar, right? Too. Now, according to the Jewish calendar, we still got another 200 years till the sixth day is over, right? That's still a little bit early, right? <laughs> Technically speaking, right? From now to the fall. Mm -hmm. Going backwards, going backwards. Of course, right? They're guessing that's how long it's been, right? Well, like I said, we don't even know technically if a day is, is a thousand years or not longer, right? That's just Adam dying within that day, right? Still, mm hmm and Zion thinks the world is older, Christian, so you can't just pretend it's not if it's not adding up for your math, right? It's not six days, six thousand years, right? Either, 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 right? We're talking about 12,000 years, 9,000 years. They're finding things that shouldn't exist back then, right? Like temples and, I don't know. Well, there was a period of time where the sun, the moon, and 12 stars, or uh, so many stars, I'm quoting two passages there, mm -hmm. were seen in the fourth day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that could be Jesus, Satan, and the angels, right? Times 144,000. Times what? Three, three? We're just 100, 400 and... Whatever, right? 32,000, right? If 432,000 angels plus Jesus and Satan, the sun is Jesus, the moon is Satan, mm -hmm. were on the earth for a thousand years or so, right? And then day five, they started making all the sea creatures, right? That's to balance out the environment, right? From day three to day six, right? Two, two. And they started making the animals, right, first in the sea, all the way to land, right? That's why you have missing links in your fossil records, right? If I make the creature by my word, right, from an impression of myself, right, but I make it as, say, an amoeba, right, versus a bacteria or virus, right, all right, which wouldn't exist until something deadly happened, right? Well, if you're Satan, you got to get Jesus out of the way first, right? And you got to do something to him, right? To get him out of the way. Mm -hmm. Now, first thing he might would try is in day four, mm -hmm. right? That 24,000 year period, right? In day, mm, <laughs> five, right? Another 24,000 years. Day six, another 24,000 years. Day seven, it's only been less than 12, right? Six plus six is what? 12, 12. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Mm 
But how short do you shorten it? John says you will have 10 days of tribulation. When did that start? From the time we fell till now? Right. Well, that's over 10,000 years. No, it's not. It's only six. Right. Uh oh. Means we might have four more thousand years. Right. Of tribulation. Right. <clears throat> so if 10 minus 6 is 4, mm -hmm. and 12 from 10 from 24 is what? 14? Right. We still might could have another 2,000 years of tribulation period. Right. If it's cut in half from 24,000 years. Right. See what I mean? <laughs> Just a little bit of math education there. Simple adding and subtracting from elementary school, my dear. <laughs> and it's elementary, and it's elementary. Dear Watson, dear Watson. To quote Sherlock Holmes, the investigator, <laughs> who, again, <laughs> what do you know? What do you know? <laughs> What is love anyway? Does anybody deserve anybody else? What is love? What is love? Cook like a mother. Even if a father. <laughs> <clears throat> well, why do you think we have baby bottles, right? <laughs> and formula now, right? <laughs> Another way to feed your children, right? But they used to breastfeed. The woman said, Blessed are the wombs that bore you and the paps that didn't suck. <laughs> so he said, Yes, rather. Mm -hmm. Was well, that nay, rather, right? Mm -hmm. Blessed are they that keep the word of God and do it, right? All my meat sandwiches, sandwiches, sandwiches. Chicken. <laughs> That's our own commercial for it. <laughs> yeah, it is. So yes, muted the agent. <laughs> That's Osmo. <laughs> now, like I said, I can't even type up a letter now on my own computer. Mm -hmm. Even if I want to mail it out, right? I've done a very like old fashioned mail. Or say I want to do something with uh, a project. I can't type an old-fashioned letter unless I either get an old-fashioned typewriter, mm -hmm. <laughs> which that letter would be shot. <laughs> I'm not a good typist anyway. I got a little bit of dyslexia, right? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I can use my BDs, 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 and my DVD, DVDs. <laughs> with each other, you know. But that's why when I'm typing, I switch my B's to my D's even, right? Or my D's to my B's, right? <laughs> that's a little bit sexier for you there. <laughs> that's because we're reading left to right. Jews read right to left. <laughs> and again, I'm dealing with the Hebrew Bible, so I'm a little confused. I don't know. <laughs> So it was Moses kind of the stutterer, they said. <laughs> now, what if the DDs and the SS, because they are putting a dot at, for instance, one end of the S and another end of the S. It was either SH or double S. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to think, like a stutterer would, right? Who's trying to create a little language for his people. Mm hmm because until Moses wrote the Torah, you had no Hebrew. <laughs> you only had Egyptian, Assyrian, or... <laughs> and guess what's also in the Syrian belief? The Epic of Gilgamesh. Right. That too talks of the flood. Right. Did Moses steal that Hebrew people? <laughs> and make it his own? It seems like it to me. It seems like it to you. <laughs> Though he too is theorizing what really happened to put us in the situation. 
So he comes up with this idea about a fruit tree. Amen. And then these two other trees, one's called the tree of life, and one's called the tree of life, and the tree of evil. One's in the middle of the garden, by the way. Mm -hmm. Somehow perfectly centered in it. Right. But one being is walking up and down in the garden, which would be this way. You know, up and down is up and down, right? And if you're perfectly centered in the garden, right, and you only go up and down, right? <laughs> Right, right. I don't know. <laughs> now, the other tree is called the tree of God's good and evil. <laughs> and that's what he's trying to give you, the God's good and evil. Which has to do with two things the tree of life is trying to show you versus the tree of God's good and evil. Now, what is good and what is evil? Mm hmm. Is it good to forgive or condemn? Forgive. Right. It's evil to condemn. Because if you condemn others, you condemn yourself. Right. You want to do the same thing they're doing. You're just mad they're doing it with someone you want to do it with too. Right. That's hypocrisy. Right. I forgive you for one reason. Jesus forgave what happened to him. Right. And was possibly resurrected. Right. Right. But he also... Don't have to come back. He did that job, I know. Until the replenishing happens again. Right. He will come back, I know. The same way he did 2,000 years ago. <laughs> Just somewhere Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob come back. Right. He did say that he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not was, not is to come, is. Is. Was and is to come, right? That's a replenishing a loop in there. <laughs> he is and is and was and is to come on the side. Mm -hmm. Just as you is and was and is to come, a Jewish person who rejects him as the Messiah, a Christian person who accepts him as the Messiah, or a Muslim who don't know whether to accept him or reject him as the Messiah, right? <laughs> And we're all dealing with other religions by that time, too. Even Christianity is getting it wrong. Judaism is getting it wrong. And then Islam, because of their two wrongs, are not making it right either. Right? <laughs> but then you got older religions like Buddhism and Hinduism, right? And though Hinduism does deal with Lord Shiva being both, right? In one body, right? Half Shiva and half Pravati, right? That's why, again, the sperm joins with the egg. That's what Kibiwa represents, right? But that's not saying the preform, right? The first form of man, right? Which is both. Which is both. <laughs> In one body, right? You ain't getting back to taking you out of each other, right? From one became two. From one became two, right?